a very special episode of Chronicles of Yarnia with Kathleen and Haley. <laughs> um, so uh, if you follow our podcast, you've been hearing mostly me talk about our trip to the UK for quite a while now. <laughs> so it actually has happened. Hmm? Pre-planning. Oh, always planning. Yep. Always planning. <laughs> Scheming. Always planning. <laughs> Sometimes drive her a little crazy with all the planning. Oh, I, I'm a planner. I like plans too. I know, I know, but you know, I mean, I, I plan in my sleep, which is really a little scary. <laughs> but we are what we are, right? Yes, we, we are the way our brain work, brains work. So um, we had a lovely two plus week trip to England and Scotland. Um, we got to see lots of things, um, maybe lots of friends, lots of friends, some family. Um, it was really, really nice. Um, maybe we'll have Amanda put a few pictures in from other parts of our trip. But what we really wanted to talk to you about today was the some of yarn. the yarn stores because we know you, that's what you want to see. So we visited four yarn stores um, in our days in the UK and we're going to go through them chronologically. Um, and um, being super prepared this time, I, I made a little list. We have notes. We have notes. Um, so the first one um, was one that I went to. Um, actually, Haley was doing something with a friend who lives in London that afternoon. So my husband Gene and I went to Loop, um, which is located at 15 Camden Passage in Islington. And um, it is the only store we did not get a project bag from or a, a tote bag. Well, I well, I went there when I was when yes. I was in London last, last year, last summer. Yeah. I, I did. I have a bag. So oh, if we were have. extra, extra prepared, I would have brought it down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so to get to Loop, you take the tube to Angel and then it's a short walk to the shop from that um, exit. And actually, we're, I think where you have to leave, you're kind of even headed in that direction. Um, if I remember from that. Um, so uh, basically... I had never been there, had always heard about it, um, planned to go a couple of different times. It just was a little bit off the beaten track from where I normally was like when I was in London. Train away yeah, from not, like may, maybe not even. It's probably even a little bit less. I took the bus there so mm -hmm. I could see the same. We took the bus back. We took the bus mm -hmm. back to Paddington, and that was actually, that took about half hour, 40 minutes, but. the entire time we were in London. Yeah. It was, you hear about congestion pricing and everything, but it was like, I don't I can't I don't, imagine. I just don't know why people would like to drive in like yeah. the most condensed well, part of any city. Any most, city. <laughs> most of the vehicles we saw though, I feel like were either buses or like some kind of delivery trucks or things. There weren't that many, and taxis. It wasn't, it wasn't too many personal cars, but anyway, we digress. <laughs> we digress. <laughs> we digress. That is totally our Chronicles of Irania subtitle. So um, at Loop, I love looking around. I actually found that they had a lot of, um, a lot of brands that we carry at Yarnia, <laughs> which um, they had Wolf Oak. Um, I believe they had Knit Collage. Um, they had Zebra Balls, which we carry. I don't know. This this was the one. This was the like our one. our second day of the trip, so it's it's a solid Brains two weeks have ago been now. Filled since then. <laughs> Very true. Um, so um, I don't remember every single thing, but I do remember the staff were lovely. There were so many people working. It was. Um, Actually, was that that was the end of our first day there? Yeah, our first full day. First full. Well, we landed in the evening. We didn't get to our hotel until the, ten the night we landed. It was because it day. was it was the day we had tea yeah, with Ashby. That was the first day. So, and then you guys went off and did things, and Gina and I went up there. Um, and um, so it was the it was like we got there at like four o'clock, and I think they closed at five. And the staff, you could tell they had all had a really, really busy day. They, there are a couple of, there's a sofa on the second floor and everything. Everyone was super sweet, really helpful, but they were exhausted. <laughs> Understandably, we work in yeah, a like, We know. We, we, feel we, we know how that could be. Um, it's fun to help people and everything, but it, it really, you know, it can take something out of you. So we could appreciate their end of the day thing. Um, so one reason I went at that, that moment was I needed a new needle for my Sophie scarf. So I did. I got a Takumi bamboo needle. And um, because there were so many things that were very similar to what we carried, I wasn't as tempted um, to indulge in other yarns there. 
Um, also, the things that they had that were different from what we had were U.S. brands that we don't carry. So that yeah. really felt silly to go to the U.K. to buy a U.S. brand at a higher price because it was imported into the U.K. So I resisted and the that urge. And everything. Yeah, yeah. But one thing I did get was um, this really cool, um, it's it's like a ribbon, basically, that you can use for embroidery. So I'm thinking yeah, about yes. doing... I see a lot um, of videos. With the stuff like that. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about using it um, in conjunction with some knit collage because I am thinking about doing the cardigan that has the flower on the back, and this yeah. is like the perfect color for leaves. So th those are my little indulgences um, from Loop, um, lovely shop, highly recommend you check them out if you were in London. And sorry to any London shops that we missed because that we had, uh, you know, London, you, you could spend three weeks and still have things that you didn't get to. Yeah. We had three days, so it was really, it was the most packed part of our trip in a lot of ways. Um, the other thing I did get in London, though, that is knitting related was a little pouch that I got at um, the Globe Theatre shop. We did a um, tour, which was great. Which yes, was cool, it was a lot of fun. Uh, with our limited time, we didn't want to put the number of hours that we had into watching a show, so we were like, we'll do a tour. Less time. Which was so really fun. It was, which it was, was cool. really, it was very nice, and, and I definitely would see a show at the Globe next time. Oh yeah. Just not the standing, though. No, not standing. <laughs> Since we don't have to be standing. The standing seats are only 5 to 10 pounds, if I remember right. Wasn't that what it was? I think so. I think they're like 10 pounds. Oh wow. So, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't they know. Were, they were so okay. inexpensive, and you know, um, that, the, the tour was totally worth doing. But yeah, a little to be or not to be notions pouch, so that will always remind, remind me of the trip. So... Um, and we, um, actually, I didn't do any video at Loop because it really was not part of what we intended, but we do have a, a shot outside. So, well, Amanda, we'll put that here. Photo! <laughs> Yay! Um, shop number two um, in our chronological journey was the Oxford Yard Store, which is located at 3 North Parade Avenue in Oxford. Um, we took a bus from Central Oxford, and it's probably about a half a mile, maybe slightly more than that, north of the center. You absolutely could walk, but we had been doing so much walking by that point. We're like, a half mile on the bus? Yeah, we'll do that. Our feet, the dogs were barking. <laughs> Dogs are barking all the time. And there's a great little Oxford bus app that you can get yeah. if you're in the area. So we just, we looked, we're like, oh, this bus comes every seven minutes or whatever. So we just waited, we hopped on the bus and we were there in no time. Big fan of public transportation. Oh yeah, we did so much public transportation. So Haley, what did we, so we loved the Oxford Yarn Store. Really um, oh, I have a note of what her name is now, I forget. It's not Felicia, what was it? Fabia. Fabia, very good. Fabia was um, the associate who was there when we came in. She was so lovely. Um, we forgot our yarning and tape measures, which I brought with us to give to people at the other yarn stores. <laughs> ah, this will be a recurring theme. And, um, but anyway, she was super nice. And then um, we were there for a little while. We did do a little video, which we will pop in.
so the shop was lovely it was it was petite but similar to yarnia absolutely packed with yarn in every inch you could imagine yarn and notions and tools and things um so this and friends and friends yep <laughs> which you'll see oh that's right that's right exactly um so let's show you what we got at oxford yarn store okay first we each got the tote bag yes, because yes. we do we, we both kind yeah, of have tote bag addictions a tote bag. yeah but then go ahead and pull out what else yeah. is in there it's just the shadow and actually this was this was my like tote bag for most of the remainder of the trip because it was lightweight and big without being too big so we do have some skeins yes. they are socks yeah mm -hmm. by koop knits mm -hmm. and it's a 75 25 and you got the pink and i got the other yes. two right and i mean these are very these are very um the matosh the yes grapefruit and grapefruit and something else geranium geranium it looks like the um the yarn for the knit along we did with nitty natty a couple years we ago we have a palette yes we do I'm we surprised. do and and this and they I really... go well together all of them yeah yeah in, in color order rainbow order here. i was figuring you know contrast heels and toes on socks or maybe throw them in a shawl or whatever yeah so i got the neon uh-huh uh-huh and i got the other two and um and what else do we have in the bag Haley? um bag of tricks here Okay, um, we got these really cute little. Oh, I love tiny these. little stitch holders. The tiniest. I'm not a big fan of um, of thick stitch holders, except sometimes you just have to put a few on hold, and these were so cute. Yeah, like them. a few, and I was thinking like this is calling my name for putting having like my being my stitch marker storage. Yes, like, yes, and exactly. And a little keychain vibe. So yep. that's what I got mine for. All right. So multi-purpose. Nice. Multi-purpose room, multi-purpose tools. <laughs> um, and then my friend in a box. Yes. Oh, <laughs> God. So someone's mom or someone. I think it was Fabia. Someone, someone in Fabia's family. Related to the store makes these friend in a box charms. Look how freaking cute. <laughs> so I had to get a friend in a box. <laughs> Because you have always collected. I, I like love. That, I, so I I I am a glass animals. I am a collector of small glass creatures. So <laughs> I had to. I had yeah. To. So right. that was Oxford. It was lovely. It was beautiful. Very cute. Very cute street. Yeah. Yeah. We had a great time in Oxford overall, and and we were really glad that we stopped by the Oxford Yarn Store. So. Um, With that, we will go on to um, the next store that we visited was in Edinburgh, and it was Ginger Twist Studio. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so let me tell you where they are. Ginger Twist is located at 60 Montrose Terrace in Edinburgh. Um, we took a bus from Central Edinburgh. It was probably about a mile from where we got on. I would but say the dogs were barking. Like we and walking was not an option. Well, and if you have ever been to Edinburgh, you know it's it is incredibly hilly. hilly. Like there are steps down like, from one street to another in spots, and the, it wasn't that wasn't the case in this part of town. But definitely, but was, well, we we mostly were going downhill to go downhill, there. But it, then coming it, coming back would have been, and it was amazing. There were people biking around there and everything. Oh, yeah. It's like ma mountain biking in the city. <laughs> Very <laughs> impressive. Baby. You, you got it. Very do, impressive. Do it. Go for it. Could not be. Um, but yeah, another public transportation, taking the bus, yep. doing some, doing some research. Let me, let me give you, so Haley got the tote bag and a skein of yarn. Yes. And I just realized. Yes. I, I, <laughs> I made a pattern here. Yeah. 
one hundred. So, but I think they're different enough. They would they would work, don't you think? Or would they contrast with each other? Or are they too close? I think they're pretty similar. But this is a lace weight anyway. Oh right, right. Um, this is so. This is gender twist. They dye their own yarn, um, and I was like, yeah, oh, I shall be purchasing. Yeah. Um, and so this colorway is called Brighter Than Barbie, um, mm -hmm. and it is eight hundred seventy five yards. Yep, that's a lace weight. As you might have seen, pretty much one whole wall, whoops, <laughs> one whole wall and kind of corner um, is all their hand dyed yarn. Is all the ginger is you know dyed in ginger twist. Um, and I'm actually, Lisa, they're like, right yeah, there. yep. Um, to this point, we hadn't met any of the store owners. It was it was all you know shop associates who um, did a great job you know chatting about the shops and and introducing us to everything they had. Um, so I also did get a hand dyed skein um, of Ginger Twist yarn. Mine is sock weight. Um, it's called Ginger's Hand Dyed Sheepish, Sheepish Sock. And my color is Poison Apple, which is so pretty. I've Again, definitely been, get, been getting more into the, the red oranges and browns, but you know, totally autumnal, which, yeah, is, which is always me, right? And you can throw that in the bag. Um, the other thing that I got um, based on a swatch that they had there was this Kinross four ply. Um, it is a super fine lamb's wool. It also looks like it's fingering weight. Um, and yeah, 220, it's, it's a light fingering, 224 yards to 50 grams. Um, it is the Highland Koo, um, colorway, Shit. which, um, which I became slightly obsessed with Highland Koo's. <laughs> As you do. Slightly obsessed. When in, when in Scotland. Yeah. And, um, so the interesting thing about this yarn that one of the folks who worked there um, talked about was how it it still has, I guess, a lot of the lanolin in it when um, when they mill it and spin it. But once you block your piece after it's made, it just you know you kind of wash the lanolin out and it poofs up tremendously. And the swatch, the difference between the feel and it doesn't feel terribly toothy. It's a little toothy, not super. I wouldn't. It's not rustic. Like you. No, no. It's it feels pretty. You know, close to skin soft. Um, but the swatch was like a little cloud. It was really really nice. So um, so I got this not knowing what I was going to do with it, and then I also got some buttons from. Pigeon, let's say pigeon. Oh, pigeon wishes. Um, so they're really cute. I it was hard to decide, but um, I was like, the, these were really kind of fun. I hadn't seen anything quite like them before. Okay. Um, okay. So those were nice. And I don't even know where Pigeon Wishes is located. It is a dot com, so it could be a U.S. company for all I know. But um, they they had like a nice selection of cocoa nuts, for example, which. You know, I'm sure importing stuff like that, just like when we bring things in from the UK and Europe, how expensive it can be. It's probably expensive for them to be the same, but you know, it's like if they love that thing, then they're gonna they're gonna stock it regardless. So I thought those were really pretty, and actually, I am probably gonna knit along with Jen's Malin class. And I'm thinking, even though these are a little bit bigger than it calls for, I could use these chunky on my cardigan. Buttons are always a cute look. I, I love a chunky button. I really do. Yeah. And these are so fun and they've got a lot of colors in them. So that may help me decide my color palette for the sweater. Yes, I do. Something's got to, something's got to push over the edge. So that could be it. All right. shop that we visited um, was in Glasgow where we stayed when we were in Scotland and it was the yarn cake and this was the first shop where we met the owner um, the owner of the yarn cake is Ancha 
and she was so nice. Um, I felt like I had known her for years, even though I had known her for five minutes. <laughs> and um, the really fun thing is that my friend Elaine, who we were staying with, is a knitter and now is going to be a regular at the Yarn Cake, which I'm so excited about. Yay. Making bonds! <laughs> <laughs> and definitely, if I get back to Glasgow, I'll be sure to go to a knit night. Um, it was actually the last full day of our trip, and um, uh, we actually did a bunch of things with our friends Greg and Elaine, and we we had a list. So <laughs> we we probably spent a half hour there, but um, but we had other things to get on to, so we couldn't hang out super long. So the yarn cake is located at two o one Crow Road in Glasgow, um, which is in the west end of Glasgow. Um, I mean, I know we were staying in the West End and it was even further than that. So it could be like the far West End of Glasgow. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I know it goes beyond that as well. Um, so to get there, um, we t we were and we were in central Glasgow, I think, when we started more more central. So we took the subway to Partick and then a 10 minute walk to the shop. Oh, well, we have lunch in Partick. Oh, so maybe we took we took the subway after that yeah. further into set. That was what we did. We kind of did this one in review in reverse review. <laughs> Yep. for the blog. Today we are at Yarn Cake, a lovely store in Glasgow, and I would like you to meet the owner, Hello. who is... My name's Antje, and this is the Yarn Cake. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so nice to meet you. And, not, and as you can tell from the name, not only does she have yarn, but she has cake. <laughs> So, which definitely when I was looking was one of the things that attracted me to your shop. So, a great selection of mainly British yarns. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a lovely little seating area. Hi guys, sorry, I should have asked if you wanted to be on video. I can cut that out if you want. <laughs> and yeah, so, and I'm so happy that uh, I've been wanting my friend Elaine to come to a proper yarn store, as she would say. And so now she has, and I know um, um, so Haley's got our loot that we got from the yarn cake. We got a couple of tote bags as always, actually, right? Actually, so we got one of the, like the store tote bag and their, what was it called? Yarn extravaganza had just ended. So with our purchase, we get to well, spin the wheel mm -hmm. and we got another we got tote, tote bag. bag. So Haley and I each have a tote bag and they're different, which yeah. is really fun. Yeah. And then our yarns. Well, we also got a pin. Yeah. Yarn cake. Yep, pin. and she gave me the pen, which is really nice. And, and we finally did remember to bring our tape measures to give out. This one time. Finally. <laughs> um, so, and she that counts. Yep, so why don't you check right what so you got? So my skein was a Rico Design Socks Bamboo Rainbow. So here she is. She's a little slightly on the autumnal color scheme-ish. Like, like pastel autumnal, though. Yes, I like pastel that. pastel autumnal. Yeah. So there she is. There were I was debating between this one and then like ones that are they were all rainbow like this is that's the line um mm -hmm. that were more like vibrant and like mm -hmm. my typical color scheme but mm -hmm. i was like i should go outside the box there because you go. i have numerous things in that color scheme already mm -hmm. so here mm -hmm. we are nice um and then i got they also carried kinross foreplay <laughs> um and actually yarn cake specializes in uk yarns so i think virtually everything they had had a lot of west yorkshire spinners which we carry some sock from well rico is not but i mean i would yeah probably 75 80 percent of it is uk and that was the reason that they also had kinross so i mentioned how i had a scan of highland coup already and um shetland wool week had just ended when we were there and so um, Ansha told me about the pattern um, for this year's Shetland Bull Week hat, which can be done in this. So I have to go with my Highland Coo. It's two. a two-color color work. Um, this one is called Tablet, which I would call, it's like a beige, like a light tan. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, perfectly in my color scheme, oh, not to. Oh, um, it's there. back on the table. Yeah, I, I should have I kept it know. out. So, so not, not enough planning. Um, <laughs> So um, I'm really looking forward to making this hat, and who knows, maybe I will have started it by the time this, the you know, this episode. video is being wrapped. So um, we really loved yarn cake, and um, we're so excited that Elaine is going to be a regular with them. I'm sure. All right. Um, so the final thing um, we're going to talk about is some of our other non-yarn, non-yarn acquiring, um, because uh, you know, as you already can tell, 
we love tote bags. <laughs> so in Oxford, we also went to the Bodleian Library and got their tote bag. Oh yeah, and you have your little... Um, so the first day that I went to the Bodleian, Haley was... You weren't feeling well after lunch. I was I taking a nap yes. because I had a, I didn't have an actual allergic reaction, but I had some slight itching. And the voice in here was saying, take a nap. So I did. Take that until it's take it out. I listened. Yes, yes. So, so I got her a little tiny bodily eraser, which is so it's cute. It's a little book. So cute. Yep. And Beautiful. then we went back the next day um, uh, with Haley. So she got to see it in person. We can put in a picture of us at the bodily um, and then um, when we did a trip to the Highlands, and that was the where the Highlands was awesome. We yeah, highly it was, recommend the bus tour. Um, it was the company Rabies, R A B B I E S, and they have a I bunch feel like of it different would be tours. Pronounced Rabies, though. Yeah, probably. Rabies, Rabies, Rabies. Um, Caitlin was our driver. She was Loved amazing. Caitlin. She was the best. Like there were three groups going out that day, and we didn't really see the other two very much, but we were really happy. We were like um, Caitlin. <laughs> she she was super so So that was the day though that the Highland Co obsession really went into full effect because like we, we saw two We actually saw some they and did actually not face us they were napping and yeah, facing they were looking the other way but we saw them with they were apples, being a little so. grumpy um, and I have a picture of me in my Felix sweater with the Highland Koo. Da, da, da. <laughs> so, um, and so I got some Highland Koo socks on the bus trip, which are, and Koo is basically just the way they say cow, especially when it's one yeah, of those. Yeah, it's the pronunci pronunciation. Yeah. Um, Very cute. And then Haley is a giant fan of Percy oh, yes. Pig, which was, you really can only get in the, in the UK. Because it's Marks and Spencer. So we got the mini pigs and the pig tails, and somehow... I made it out without getting actual true Percy Pigs, which is I cried realizing. Oh, I'm way. sorry. I'm sorry. No. We could have. We could have. No, I, 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 I grabbed. I grabbed what I thought. Was, yeah. But you know, we we have we have the goods. So. Yeah, yeah. That was. And like actually, my... you know what? If Ashby comes back for Christmas or something, I'm she sure, is coming for. I'm sure, yes, she would bring yes. me some pigs. <laughs> I will text her right now. Right now, before you forget. Um, and then the final, the final thing is. Um, I think this is the final thing. Um, the VNA, we always joke that the VNA has a good gift Victoria shop. Victoria and Albert Museum. Good gift shop. Also, though, specifically has the best tote bags. Well, I don't... they have a wide selection and they're normally good. And and they're really actually well priced too. Like, I forget exactly how much this was, but this is like a big, heavy duty canvas. I mean, not too big. It's like an it's actually good, excellent sized. Size. Um, un until I got my Oxford Yarn Store tote bag, this was my tote bag. Um, and it was like 15 pounds. I mean, that's I, that's a really good print. And that's, um, you know, a print basically of, of one of the buildings. Like when you go in the courtyard, that's the building that you face um, at the VNA, um, which is like, I don't think I've ever had more than a three day trip to London where I didn't stop at the VNA. It's yeah. it's so I know, big I and so it filled with time, stuff that there's always things to see. Visiting so. friends, seeing something you've already seen. I was like, yeah, visit the friends. The, answer, the, friends. the answer was clear, even though I do love that museum. So. Yeah, yeah. So those are the highlights of the, especially the yarny parts of our trip. Um, we had a great time. Ask us any questions if you would like. Yes, and, yes. Um, we would like to share. Yes, yes. And I don't know if we ever did say, here's the video from Yarn Cake, did we? But if we didn't, I'm sure Amanda put it in. Yes. <laughs> so she found a spot. So um, thanks for watching, guys. And we look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye.